F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fans? It's showtime, folks. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R. Friend requests, reviews, and friend requests, friends to watch. Better call Saul. Season three, episode six, title off brand something we never do in the hood okay we never go off brand <laughs> nothing that but a fish right there <laughs> I, know. I know damn man why you gotta call me out like that e? <laughs> nah but man uh, last episode was crazy you know we had the trial jimmy done then set him up how you feel going into this next episode for me uh I don't know how to feel because I don't know where we going with with that that story. Like, you know, what is Chuckles gonna do? Mm -hmm. What is what is Howard gonna do? What is what is Jimmy gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Like, even though Jimmy threw him under the bus, he he hates seeing Chuckle down like that. So, you know, what is he gonna do after like really realizing the the full situation? Like, so I'm I have no idea what this episode is going to unfold. I'm ready to hop in, though. Let's get it, man. Yeah, man. If you haven't already, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. And also, don't forget to subscribe, okay? The goal is 10K. Only way we're going to get there is if you click that button. Also, click that bell so you get notified when we go live. Let's get it. Let's go, man. Let's go. Steam rolling straight through this season. All right. It's my second favorite part of the day right here. <laughs> Watching BCS. First favorite part is waking up. <laughs> oh, shit. The one and only. A heck no, that. Remember what he said last time? You're gonna do it. <laughs> Emilio! What's up, boy? What you doing here, man? You know what he's doing. He's getting promoted. He about to get promoted? Probably not this episode, but... <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> His dogs tore up the back seat. Like, <laughs> ate the stuff. Man, he don't got the money, man. He's stalling. No, he about to, he about to get promoted, bro. <laughs> um, Shed him with the smokey. Forty. 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. You're light. Like I was saying, the guys. Why in... didn't you make it up on your end? I did, but I couldn't make it all up. Make it up next week. Thank you, Nacho. Oh, Hector. Oh, Hector, not gonna like that. Duco would never. Who works for who? Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> He hella mad. Uh, not so uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Mm. Damn. Hey. Not, not so got hands, bro. I mean, even if he didn't have hands, it's not like you could hit him back. <laughs> <laughs> I know his hands hurt. He's sewing all day and fighting all day. <laughs> Ain't counting money all day. I just thought he better not jam his finger in this shit. Mm. Damn. <laughs> yeah, man. Look at his eyes. It was better than I expected, though. I thought that shit was going to go through his fingernails. Like, <laughs> oh, my goodness. And no one breaking bad. They was going to show it. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I want to see that right now. <laughs> I want to start by sincerely thanking mm, you for your right. patience through Let's this long it. and emotional proceeding. Rebecca looking worried. Okay. Yep. You've heard from many of Mr. McGill's clients today. Every one of them came hey, to the support of Alpine their lawyer. Shepherd. Alpine Shepherd, yo. Jimmy McGill reached out to people who otherwise may never have seen an attorney in their entire lives. Hmm. And yet during this time, Charles McGill's irrational animus towards his brother hmm. grew to epic proportions. 
when he discovered he had been betrayed by his only living blood relative, Jimmy snapped. Mm. And he is deeply sorry. He's more than ready to face the consequences. <laughs> is the legal profession better with Jimmy McGill in it? I believe the answer is a resounding yes. Oh, hey. a 12 short months victory baby saint jimmy yeah saint, saint jimmy nice got a nice ring to it you feel me title drop have you given any thought to what you're gonna do for the next year you know, are you sure plan? about that whoa slow down that is tomorrow talk oh dear oh dear i need to find me a kimmy man i need a ride or die Rebecca? Oh, okay. Jimmy. Chuck not answering well, the door. Come on in, please. I, I was out there knocking for almost an hour. Damn. It sounds like Chuck. I'm sure he's fine. He's just being dramatic. Jimmy got to always run to the rescue. I've already kicked my door in for the year. <laughs> <laughs> for real. You owe it to him. Mm. If you feel misled, I apologize, but I think I was clear. I told you I had to defend myself and Chuck would need help afterwards, which he does. Hmm. You got what you wanted. Jimmy, nah, he's still he just, your brother. He just being petty. Not anymore, he's not. Mm. Chuck was right about you all along. Mm. He's mentally ill. What is your excuse? Damn, she tried to play the mentally ill card. During dinner, Kaylee asked if her daddy ever used to cook. And I told her about how Maddie used to make her Mickey Mouse pancakes on weekends. She wants to know more about what he did. And that kind of took my breath away. Maybe. Hmm? That's good work. Mm, Mike there. <laughs> I'm like, they going around this whole room. Someone else got to be there that we know. And I thought you'd come again? Nah. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll Give see. me like another month. Um, every other <laughs> month, like you feel me? Like sure it is, Pop. You built a carport when Maddie was a kid. I did. And you let Maddie write his initials in the wet cement. Mm, look at him. He like, damn, I did. Fuck. <laughs> he, he like, shit. She hit me with all the facts. Sound like he was a good father. Sorry, I can get you out of it. I just no, thought it it's was... fine. Just tell me when, <laughs> where. Come on, see. All right, man. She just she's trying to get up out of her her grief. She looks like she's doing all right. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! This dude trying to he trying Drop to astral power. project himself. <laughs> Awesome. That Jenga set? Hell no, that looked like some. <laughs> nah, some good ass cognac. For real. Getting pickaxe to look, look at that. that 1966. 1966. You know that's some good shit. Jimmy's not going to be a lawyer for one year. And if he screws up, which we both know is likely, mm. his PPD terminates. And that one year may turn into forever. Where would we be if, say, Clarence Darrow had devoted the best years of his life? Think of the cases he wouldn't have taken. The injustices that would have gone unanswered. What a waste. Hmm. Anything else is a waste of your time and intellect. Facts. Like are we are we are we gonna see a new and improved super smart, super intelligent chuckles, man? Or is he gonna just continue to drown in his sorrow and despair? To new beginnings. Okay. To new beginnings how serious is he though that's what i want to know because he looking he don't answer to rebecca he's sitting there in the corner he damn near didn't answer to howard Hips. 
Hey! Lunch is served. Swim, honey. He kept it alive. He said, put it in the biggest bowl you could find. You got it a full on tank, filter, and all that. The fresh bubbles coming up. Mm -hmm. Just like he told him. <laughs> Are you available to talk with Jimmy? Okay, great. Just one year, one quick trip of the earth around the sun, and I'll be back. <laughs> I will. <laughs> It's just a technical thing, really. It's um, it's just a technical uh, an agreement. It's an agreement. It's an agreement that I came to with the bar association. Details will be in a letter. That's right. But uh, don't worry about it. It's just making me remember when I used to help people, or at least the older people, uh, learn how to use the Lyft app to be drivers. <laughs> 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 Just let me talk. <laughs> you stop talking and I'll talk. <laughs> Just give me a second. Francesca, get me KWBV. Mmm. Slipping schemes about the. Then get me somebody who can pull a commercial stat. <laughs> Come on, man. What are we up to now? He, this fool, he always up. <laughs> always. <laughs> like, he always up. This pile of garbage explicitly states I'm not allowed to resell. Damn. You're a lawyer. And see if you can find a loophole. He can't resell, and they gonna resell it anyways. Like, <laughs> <laughs> should we give her two weeks? Oh, they trying to get rid of Francesca. Doing her any favors by keeping her in the dark. She should start looking. Damn. <laughs> So you want to fire Francesca? I mean, I guess Kimmy don't need her. All she does is work on Mesa Verde. Yep. I looked into it, and breaking the lease will cost a hell of a lot less than 10 months' rent. I'll hold up my end. You hold up yours. 50-50. So you're going to keep paying for half a law office, even though you're not practicing law? Call it aspirational thinking. OK. The day I don't show up with my half, that's the day we'll talk about closing this place. OK. I mean, exactly, right? Like. That is fair. You got to respect that. And here's the beauty part. For a reasonable price, we will shoot your commercial. And then we'll throw in the airtime for the low, low price of free. Mm. Hey, give me Jimmy. That's right. That's me. You've seen my ad. Well, what I did for me, my friends, I will do that for you. How can he promise the airtime, though? I thought he said they can't resell that shit. He can't resell that. Yeah, he, that exactly. So he's still bamboozling, finoogling people then. Yeah. Gee, Maybe um, he found a lupo. Sorry for any confusion. You're going to shoot a commercial in the next two and a half hours. Oh, no. I mean, there's a whole post process. I mean, there's editing and mixing, coloring, layback. It's a whole McGilly. You don't want to know. <laughs> Facts. Trust me. Did he get it? On to the next. Maybe. You could make a commercial. Hmm. Have you not been listening? That's what I've been trying. Oh, exactly. Right. She's a smart one. What kind of commercial you about to shoot, though? I'm like, <laughs> like I, I don't. Let's go, chop chop. For a limited time, we'll shoot your commercial today and have it on the air tomorrow. For a limited time, we'll shoot your commercial today and have it on air tomorrow. <laughs> no. I thought you were like president of the drama club or something. <laughs> I'm treasure. <laughs> treasure. You. Maybe next time. <sighs> oh, we really go. Exactly <laughs> like. I'm like, we really go try this dude. Come on, man. He's jumping all over the place. Yes, we is. Try to see the end result of something. <laughs> Damn it. Nah, something. We jumpers today. Vic. Looking tires. Man, we're on a 007. Oh my god. And you was acting like I was too far fetched for talk about the oil seeping into the sand. Like, <laughs> that was the methylamine. The methylamine. Look at this shit, man. No one other than us can ever know that this robbery went down. Nobody. My thoughts was completely off, so I'm really interested in how they about to pull this off. What were your thoughts? So, about, about what? When they was burying these tubs, the I thought they was gonna find a way to knock the 
somehow knock that shit off the rail to where that shit empties out into the dirt and soaks into the tubs <laughs> under. Damn. And then they were going to come back for them shits later. Like, What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? That was some video game shit. <laughs> that really is. <laughs> <laughs> That done in the powder, the clay, cocoa, dust, and shit. Like, do you have scale? Hmm. <laughs> you feel me? Don't Did disrespect this. Tyrus, he definitely Man. looked like he put on some weight a little. He, I, yeah, yeah, I was just gonna he, say something. I was like, I ain't gonna say because I'm always doing the same thing. Like, <laughs> he definitely put on some weight. If you got out of count, mm. you get five. Don Hector gets. Six. Mmm. How quick them boys was. They <laughs> out here. And this man don't even got his gun drawn because he's too damn slow. Too slow. Hmm. Who you gonna call? No, you gotta call the man. Gus Busters. And you know what he gonna say? He gonna say, let it rock. A little bit. Give it to him. Told you. <laughs> Give it to him. Mm, he said it twice. Yeah, he pulled that junk quick. Well, as soon as <laughs> bro, why have why hasn't Hector freaking knocked ponytail off, man? <laughs> embarrassment to the organization. <laughs> he like... really is though. <laughs> yeah, why they keep this man around? Look at him. That hairline is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like an extra in a Mortal Kombat film. Like. <laughs> One that just get whacked immediately. <clears throat> mm, this is before. Wow. Here we go. Look where we at. <laughs> it's the mat. Damn. That gave me Jesse vibes right there. I ain't even gonna lie. My heart sunk a little bit. Just think about Jesse all chained up on that. <laughs> oh, yeah, damn. Okay, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> that sound. I feel what you're saying. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what? What? It could work. Lydia. I didn't even expect to see her at all. It's crazy because I really liked her character, but I I didn't think of her as like someone who was around in BCS. Like the way they introduced her, I kind of felt like she was just boom. Yeah. Well, I my man out here with the E.T. swag. What are you, what are you trying to do? <laughs> For real, he's trying to phone home. Get off this planet ass. He's trying to push the limits. <laughs> look, even the crazy looking dude looked at him like he was crazy. Like, yep. And look at how, know, like, man. he trimmed that shit up the right way. He could be working with something. Like, we might see this shit designed by Kanye soon. <laughs> <laughs> little foil with the cardigan. Uh, yeah. Kind of feeling it now. Yo, like, Kanye will uh, make some uh, shit like, like this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to see Dr. Cruz as soon as possible. Mm, he's trying to go see. Is Thank he going to admit, admit himself? You got this. You got this, man. He said, did he piece himself? No, he wasn't there. Just this guy. Look at Hector. He want. He's so. He want to get a rise out of him so bad. Like they called him. It's no big deal. Maybe not for you. He would. He, like, he would say that. Little Nelly. Because if Nacho would have got blasted, he would have pleaded his way out of there. So, you father. He show up. What does he get? Is a poster. Mm. I'm about to pull his dad in. I want a new way to get my stuff over the border. A legitimate business. Don Hector. 
My father is a simple man. You will teach him. Don't, Hector, please. Don't worry. Looks like Tuco knifed the guy. Wow. They definitely broke a guard's jaw. They got him in wow. something. <laughs> what? All he had to do was six months. Wow. He'd be in there forever. There you go. Tuco temper. Salamanca temper. Definitely Salamanca temper. <laughs> Look, he can't even handle blowing up like that. He still does. Oh, look at him. Not so. You talk to your father. Mm. Promise, as soon as hmm. you see the shortened his dosage on him, like, want a beer? Yes, thanks. So, sleeping in your own bed tonight, things must be looking up. Man, I needed clean clothes. <laughs> she for sure was grinding in the office, like, um, they pay me to make a commercial, I throw in the airtime for free. Smart. Mm. Yeah. That's how you found the loophole. The day going door to door. So you made a commercial for commercials today. Yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to think I might break even here. <laughs> she like this dude is amazing. That's low key what she thinking. Like, <laughs> this man's grit is impeccable. It's not your best work. This shit about I to be it. hella goofy the way he acting right now. <laughs> You belong on TV. What's that I see? Albuquerque's next TV star? It's you, small business owner, struggling to make it in today's fast-paced <laughs> economy. But, and bam, you belong on TV. <laughs> bam. Better watch out for autograph hounds and paparazzi. Call me, Saul Goodman. The world needs to know about you and your business. Call me now. Call me now. What? <laughs> it's Saul Goodman? Never seen so many star wipes in a row. It's never been done. Never been done before. <laughs> Saul Goodman. Yeah. yeah like... It's like, it's all good, man. <laughs> that guy has a lot of energy. It's all good, man. Is that really just the inspiration from? That's it? Yeah, that's it. It's all good, man. Man. I can make it all good. <laughs> that's all she got for him? It's, huh? Oh, man. I don't know what she thinks. I. Here we have it, episode six in the books. It's a great continuation from last episode, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? They 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 pretty much left off right where we left off last episode and just continue the spiral of Jimmy's life so far because it seems like he's in a bit of a pickle. You know, he's losing money. He's gonna have to keep the the what was it the 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 office with Kim. Somehow he's gonna have yep. to figure out how to keep the money coming in. So you know, this is, he's got a lot to think about. But uh, what are your thoughts about this episode for me? I liked it. It was it was pretty solid because <clears throat> we were pretty much you know in the courtroom the whole time last episode. Like so, this one gave us a chance to hop around, and I even said like, "Damn, we all over the place." Like, and you know, I see why because we was in one place the whole time. So now they gave us a chance to just kind of answer some of those questions that that i even had like pretty much immediately and then give us a little bit of what uh nacho and um and gus had going on as well because we didn't get to see them at all last episode so i think this one was solid you know i like i like seeing uh uh pretty much chuck and howard because i was really interested about that I, I was like you know howard was doing the whole you know, I'm in charge of the PR and blah, blah, blah. Got an image to uphold. Yep. So I was worried, like, after that whole meltdown that it was just going to be game over. Like, how we was going to try to maybe not cut ties, but at least, you know, play it a lot, a lot safer and, and just, you know, keep Chuck at a distance. But, um, you know, he came through with the motivational speech. And I like that because I, th I think he's right. Like, you know, at the end of the day, it's really not worth your time. Like, you're a smart dude. You're good at law. You a partner for a reason mm -hmm. you possibly this and not i mean and also like this this whole uh bamboozle with the battery in his you know jacket could possibly enlighten you and, and you know make you realize that <clears throat> maybe this whole electricity allergy is 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 more mental than, yeah. than physical you know so 
I like that how I was, you know, was supportive in that way because I wasn't sure uh, what direction I was going to go. And then same thing with Rebecca. Like, I, I, I didn't know how she was going to feel about seeing that. But, um, you know, she's still, I mean, that, that's, that's her ex-husband, you know, got, you got some type of love for that dude. So she was definitely on his side, you know, try to press Jimmy about it, but didn't go her way. Jimmy, Jimmy seems to really be done with Chuck. That I was actually surprised to see because, you know, he always runs back. Like, no matter how much of his scheme and things he does, he always runs back. And we've seen that all through season one and two. So the fact that he's like, yeah, that's not my brother, blah, 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 all that stuff. I'm just like, damn, like, okay. Maybe he'll come back to him by the end of the episode. Nah, like, not, not budging. Like, we have, he hasn't even mentioned Chuck. <laughs> like, for the rest of the episode, he didn't mention his brother. Like, so I'm still, I, like, I, I don't know what that's going to look like, though, because Jimmy, you know, he's a softie, man, for his brother. Like, so I assume something's going to happen to where they're going to have to eventually connect, but... Yeah, I just wasn't expecting the cold shoulder to be that cold today. <laughs> and then the whole thing about Jimmy being in a pickle, yeah, definitely is. You know, can't can't practice law for a year, but he turned out a little bit better than I expected. Like he, he's definitely trying to grind. I mean, you know, he's slipping Jimmy. He's a scheming, the most scheming scammer. So he's not just gonna sit around, you know, on his ass and not get money. So he's trying. He's trying to make it. Uh, I'm interested to see what <laughs> how he's gonna make his 50 percent every month to bring it in. <laughs> but he's trying to make it. Right now he's talking about just breaking even. You know, even though he's been grinding all day. So obviously that's he got to grind harder than that to yep. you know, bring his bring his share. So I think that eventually he's gonna you know find his way to to Mike, I think, I don't know. I think they're gonna get into something because his scamming ways aren't enough. Like, he, even the stuff he was doing with um with Marco, he, he ain't bringing enough to, to pay that rent for them offices, you know? So I don't think his scamming ways are gonna be able to hold him. And I don't know how long he's gonna be able to do that commercial stuff because it only is dependent on those those last nine slots that he has. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what, what that's gonna look like. But uh, obviously, you know, interested over there on the cartelli side, cause Nacho, he looking like he's fed up, man, with the Salamancas. You know, he he was fed up with Tuco, but now he looking like he fed up with with Hector. Hector's been on his ass pressing him about, I guess, you know, kind of being, you know, being a, a little bit more of the man. You know, when dude came up short, he pressed him about that. And then now he's trying to get his dad to, uh, to be distribution. Um, and yeah, you know, Nacho not down for that. Dad is, is a straight dude. He don't want to um, involve him with any of that, which makes sense. Yep. And I think that Nacho is going to try to make make a move on Hector. Like, I mean, he already did kind of like with the little pill thing, you know, short the dose a little bit, I guess. But um, I think he's going to try to... Uh, reach out to Mike about it, obviously, because he knows how Mike feels about him. Mm. So, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like that's the obvious move for Nacho. Like, yo, let me reach out to him. Because there's no way he's going to do this on his own. He already know how it go. He got to play it super close. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's pretty much kind of like, I don't even know. I would say, I would say he's the right-hand man, but it looked like Ponytail got more ranked than him these <laughs> days, the way he be holding on to Don Hector's pocket. Like, so... <laughs> like, but yeah i think we're gonna see him reach out to mike man so i think the rest of the season is gonna be about them trying to plot and scheme on getting hacked out the way and then jimmy just trying to figure out what he's gonna do for money and then i don't know about chuckles because I, I feel like he he's gonna take howard's word and, and move forward but I don't, I don't know i don't know at the same time he could be doing anything like yep it's a tough predicament. Uh, it's a tough predicament to be in, like especially between yeah. all the characters, Jimmy and the situation he's in, Nacho. It's probably in the worst position right now, to be honest, because Hector, like you said, um, like like Donnie Nadio said the, the other episode. You know, you make one mistake with this dude, and you know that could be your ass. So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's you know that's something that you gotta watch out for. So I feel like Nacho's in the worst situation. Jimmy. 
you know, he's just gonna lose some some bread. Obviously, he need the bread so he can, you know, pay his fifty. But yep. once those nine slot goes, what he's gonna do then? So you know, exactly. he's got to figure that out. And, and I guess Mike Mike ain't they really didn't show Mike like that. But you know, I guess he's just you know not worrying about Hector or Gus or anything. He's just focused on Stacy and and uh, and Kaylee. And Kaylee. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, last episode, he kind of, you know, he kind of ended it with the like, you know, I'm done with Hector and I'm done with you because I'm mm-hmm. not going to come work for you kind of thing. So he's he's just living his life right now, I would say, you know, working, chilling with the grandkids, just being being grandpa, being pawpaw. Paw, like, so, but we know he's going to get pulled back in. So eventually things going to happen. I mean, shoot, I wonder if Nacho might even reach out to Gus, like, but I don't know. I mean, have you? Didn't you see how Gus replied to him? I know where he's at. <laughs> Remember when he was inside the restaurant? I know where he's at. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, who knows where that's gonna lead? How that's gonna end? Who's gonna mingle with who on the board? You know what we I mean? know it all comes down to Hector in that wheelchair, though. That's the thing. Like how he gets that's... there is. The key, though. How does he get there? <laughs> Who's the person that puts him there? Is it a person, or is it just his health that just puts him there? Don't say that, man. Cause ban his health. Nah, you trying to? He trying to throw me off. Not we me. You trying, <laughs> trying to throw me off? I know you are. Listen, yes. I'm not trying yeah. to. I'm just putting multiple possibilities out there. Okay, I'm not trying to throw anybody off. Okay, I'm not trying to hit you with the off brand. But um, if you had to score this episode, what would you score it, man? Um, I think just just for the introduction of all the characters and all the s- scenes we got, I'll get this one an eight point five. Okay. We were sliding, we were skiing all over the place. We got a lot. We was we was touching on a lot of characters, a lot of plots. So I get this one an eight point five. Okay. Cool for me. I think I. I think I'm right there with you. 8.5. It was a it was a good episode. I mean, I always love when Hector's on the screen. He's one of my one of my favorite characters, as you can see, Lord of the Dings. We he's ranking too that vicious, right. man. He is. He's just he, yeah, man. And and the way he said it, like he was just like, you'll show him. Damn. I mean, there ain't no way you can talk this man out of that. Like you feel me? Yeah. So it's gonna be a. Hell of a ride for these last uh, four episodes. Can't wait. We almost done with the season already. We just started it. Don't worry, we got y'all. We told you we're going to catch up to season six. So if you haven't already, don't forget to comment down below. Let us know what we missed in this episode. And don't forget to subscribe. FWR out. Peace. Hey.